What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to track text and footage, just like this on screen. Right before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. You can also check out the Discord channel, the Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, all those links will be linked down below. Now we have a fresh clip inside of After Effects, same clip as before. Really easy step to make this happen. What you do is just you highlight your clip, you right click it, go to track and stabilize, and then track camera. Opens up the effect controls right here. As you can see, it's analyzing the background. And we're gonna go ahead and let this analyze. It's initializing right now. It's gonna start analyzing all the frames and After Effects will do the majority of the work for you. So let's skip to the end of this analyze phase and see what we have. Okay, now our footage is finished analyzing. And if you click the effect right here, three to camera tracker, all these little points pop up. We can actually increase the track point size to make it a little more visible. So all you have to do now is hover over the track points that are, I guess in this case, the most visible that stay tracked the longest, that whichever ones work best in this case. And uh, you can right click and then create text and camera, which creates this. From here, we have to go in and grab the text and actually change the orientation and put it where we want it. So I'll drop down on text, drop down on transform, and actually change everything. So let's change the orientation, kind of, I'm gonna do this really quick and dirty. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna change the Y rotation and move it over and X space. I think that looks pretty good. And if we play this back, as you can see, it is tracked pretty well to the scene. What I may wanna do is just move it back a little bit, something like this. And as you can see, after we get the final placement, it is tracked to the scene very accurately. It's not perfect, I'm sure it could be better, but this looks pretty darn good. Now, if we re-click our footage, um, again, track points still exist with 3D camera selected, and we can actually look over here in the mountains and grab more track points. Right click and create text. Um, let's go ahead and change this to yo, like it was before and change the orientation really quick or the positioning. However we wanna change it, we can change it. If you hold W on your keyboard while you have this selected, you can actually physically move it, which, kinda, which is kinda cool. This looks pretty decent for tutorial purposes. And now we're gonna re-render and watch this. And text has been tracked to this 3D scene. Now, depending on your footage, this method may work amazing. Um, I find that close-ups have a lot more trouble, but aerial shots are amazing. It's really easy to do aerial shots. And this specific clip is 4K, so it makes it a lot easier. If you are dealing with a very difficult close-up shot, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. I will gladly help you out. And that's it. As always, guys, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.